Healthy Schools Oklahoma, and we're going to discuss fire science. We're going to talk about Oklahoma State Standard 5.5.4, and that's you being able to predict a potential outcome of each option when you're trying to make a health-related decision. We're also going to talk about Standard 7.5.1, and that's you identifying personal health behaviors. So let's talk about fire science. When we discuss this, this will help you understand how a fire works and then how to prevent a fire. All fires require three elements, oxygen, heat, and fuel. This is known as the fire triangle. So let's break it down. Oxygen, oxygen um, is where the fire needs air to breathe and without the oxygen, it'll stop burning. Fuel. The fire also needs fuel to continue to burn. So if it runs out of fuel, the fire will stop. And heat. Without heat, a fire can't start and it can't continue to burn. So let's talk about some examples of these things. So an example of fuel would be paper, wood, gas, paint, coal, or even dry dead leaves. An example of heat would be like a lit match or a lighter, your stovetop, a furnace, or even a faulty electrical wiring that might create a spark. So when the right amount of oxygen, heat, and fuel are present, a chemical reaction happens. So what is a chemical reaction? Well, it's when two or more substances mix together to form something new you're gonna notice four main clues that happen when a chemical reaction happens. One, there's gonna be a formation of gas. So you'll see fuzzing or bubbling happening. Two, it causes heat. So you'll see light or you might smell an odor. Three, there will be a color change that happens. Or four, a solid is formed during that chemical reaction. So think about the chemical reaction that happens with a fire triangle. What is produced by a fire? Is it heat? Is it light? Is it odor? Or is it all of the above? Well, with a fire, you definitely feel heat, so that's correct. You do see a light happen. It's usually orange or yellow, so that happens. And there is an odor. You can smell a fire. You know what it smells like. So all three of those are correct. So let's talk about how to put a fire out. Well, to remove heat, firefighters use water to cool the fire down. So if there's a small fire, you can put water on it to cool it down and then the heat is removed. A helicopter also drops water or even a foam or a gel that is specially formatted to put out and fight wildfires. So removing oxygen, stop, drop, and roll pushes the oxygen away from your body and that's what suffocates um, the fire from being on your clothes or your body. A fire blanket, fire blanket is a special type of blanket. It's not an ordinary blanket that would be in your home. It's a special type of blanket that would wrap around you and it would put out a fire. And then again, foam from a fire extinguisher could be used to smother a fire as well. There are ways to limit oxygen too, and that's by keeping your door shut in your house or in the building you're in, and that helps prevent new oxygen to fuel the fire even more. And then there are even fire doors that some buildings and houses and apartments have that prevent or slow down um, a fire from spreading. So let's talk about removing fuel. The fire has, might have burned all of the surrounding tree and grass, and then it has no more fuel to continue to burn. Firefighters sometimes create a fire break by removing some of the vegetation in the ground by turning the dirt either with their hands or a pick or even a bulldozer. Firefighters also remove fuel by turning off the gas lines to a house or um, a building that might be, the house might be on fire, so they might turn that gas line off to that fire, 
or to that house, but they'll also turn it off to the surrounding houses to prevent the fire from burning those other houses. So I want you to also remember that it's really important to remember that if you see a fire, you want to make sure you have a fire escape plan so you know exactly what to do if your house is on fire or the building you're in is on fire. Remember, you want two ways to get out of every room. Sometimes a fire might get too big and you really need an adult or a firefighter to come and help you. So notice that you might be able to help and give suggestions on how to put the fire out, but it would be better for that adult to actually do the work and keep you safe. That's all for today. We'll see you next time. Thank you.